came back in the game. I, I didn't know he he played Smash Four until that tournament. I thought he quit after Brawl. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I won't lie. I, I I didn't hear much of Sailor before Bane. I mean, you know, in Smash Four before Bane when it came out. But uh, obviously, a smart player from Brawl. I think just being a you know obviously being a top Brawl player kind of means that you 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 have a really good start in this game. Yeah, that's very true. So let's see how this game number one plays out, Sam versus Renai. Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit harder for Renai to kind of, you know, play his projectile game. Obviously, which, which time is always kind of a problem. Uh, he's in that AOE range. Or the back then we just saw when he does get a hit, but it's too late. Yeah, so most characters can rely on uh, can rely on grabs a little bit more, you know, against Bayonetta because uh, obviously which time is not activating on grabs. But uh, Village's grab is just, just not good at all. Yeah, I mean, it's not as bad as Pac-Man, but it's... Pretty bad. No, nothing's as bad as Pac Man. That's, that's just pretty good. That's true. Yeah, Zero so attack. Somehow, <laughs> invisibly, somehow being that down here. That's completely active until it hits the ground. I don't know how that happened. We see that different place on Bayo. Uh, Salem, aggressive, but not nearly as aggressive as Zach was earlier. Yeah, I don't think he's. Uh, I think Captain Zach might be. Oh, my goodness. Aggressive. Great read by Renai, knowing. He's gonna side B towards the stage. There's only you know a couple angles that Banana can go. Banana can go in terms of recovery towards the stage. You know, she's either gonna go straight vertical or always at the angle of side B. Wow, great call out there, the bowling ball. Nice going high. Doesn't want to get a. Oh, oh great yeah. escape there. Did, uh, I feel like Salem forgot. You know, if you land on the stage with the balloons, you actually have very little recovery. If you pop the balloons before you land, then you have a ton of recovery. But if you land with them. Um, you know, you don't have quite as much. Okay. So I respect the attempt by Salem, but uh, yeah, that wouldn't work. They probably assume you have plenty of time for that, so. It's just like Balloon Fight, man. That's a Balloon Fight. I played like once on Animal Crossing, my dude. Yeah, and on <laughs> Animal Crossing. Oh, great string there with the back airs. So this game number one looking very good for Nai. Just needs to find a KO here. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. He took the win on that one. Oh. The triple turn up? I don't uh, know. I, I think that. I, I wasn't sure if that was triple, but. In any case, very scary for Salem here. Still has yet to fight. <laughs> Got a turnaround with the neutral there by Redai. Oh, oh my god, the what? Read, the read! <laughs> the Jesus. read! I, yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> Salem didn't, didn't uh, spot dodge in that situation. And so, there's. He's not going for the grab there, but uh, grab first. <laughs> That's what I was talking about, man. That grab is just not good at all. You know, at least with tether grabs, while it's moving forward and while it, yeah, a little bit while it's coming back, you can still get the grab, but yeah. the villagers. Oh my goodness! Renai does not care about DLC or his terrible grab. Yeah, so much for what I said. <laughs> this man has learned the matchup. Feeling comfortable against DLC, at least it looks like in that game number one. Wow, this is the most important DLC. Good lord. Nice two stock statement. That's something we, I, that, I definitely want to call that. That bowling ball, that bowling ball call out was great though. Because, you know, when you're watching Bandana recover, there's a very specific angle they, they always go to before they side B. You know, yeah, it's like, man, true. I, know, I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, know I, know, I know what's going on here. Good. <laughs> you know, honestly, I think the one on the platform was better. The one that didn't even work. Yeah. He was, was, he was waiting for that spot dodge, man. I'm really surprised <laughs> that he didn't uh, spot dodge after that miss, missed which time. But I thought he was going to, actually. That's why I was like, oh, God. Wow, what Ooh. kind of trick was that? Ooh, now throwing a down tilt. <laughs> what? All right. You got it, Renan. Uh, guys, oh my goodness. too much smash. Dude, we don't need stages, oh, to, we don't need stages to play. Wow. <laughs> we don't need to. Yo, we're becoming Marvel Dog. <laughs> wow. Next time on Dragon Ball I Z. can't believe they just fought underneath the stage for a good <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> I respect Salem, man. Uh, this dude was underneath the stage. Salem said, I'm going to come and get you. I don't know what's going to happen, but somebody's going to die. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. goodness. Oh, he's going again. He wants more. All right, so great, great start from Ryan. This game from two. Salem, you know, he's doing a great job of playing neutral. I, I, I feel like he's just made, he's been punished really hard for the one or two mistakes he's made. That's yeah, true. Usually, I've uh, been doing those heavy punishes, but now when I do heavy punishes. Oh, good catch there in the back here, though. He won't go off stage anymore. He goes to the trump. That's, that's as far as he goes. <laughs> he's, he's learned, man. The big thing is, oh, oh my goodness, oh, five in a row? Uh, all Salem wants to do is make it back to stage. <laughs> Throw you, even the pot at him, man. He wants everything. <laughs> and Renai is all over Salem, who has yet to be on the stage, man, for more than 10 seconds of time, finally establishing a little bit of stage control. But I, I, I feel like it might be too, a little too late in this game number two. Already at 61%. I'm going to trade with that back air. Yeah, Salem's not been able to take Renai out of this game, not able to make him stop using those back ends and forward airs, and that's that's the big problem here. A 
great recovery there. And takes no damage on this combat though. Yeah, at this point, uh, Renai, too much damage on him to get any of those this Bayonetta combos. Ooh! Instead of the throw. Poor throw might have actually took the stock there. His axe though. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he was closer to the tree, that would have worked. But a little bit too far to get. Oh, great. Okay, Luchador catch. Not enough though. Oh, oh, he's trying to fight. Self defense still up there by trying Renai. to fight. Is he gonna make? Yes, he will make it. <laughs> Rory. Oh my goodness, a double back here. A little two stock though. Oh, oh, he flipped the win on that one too. Oh, oh. 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 So what do you do? What do you do? Yo, Salem just trying to make it back to stage. <laughs> I cannot believe the onslaught. It's just a double there obstacle nine. course. Like, what do you? <laughs> how? It's too much. I, I think really. I think what the worst part about that is that the uh, the water and can pushed him away from the edge and made it yeah, even worse for him. He had very limited recovery options after that water and can. Yeah. Just not, not much he can do, but get. But trying to try to recover low, and uh, just the bowling ball waiting for him. And, you know, worst case scenario, that bowling ball misses the tree was there as well. Yeah. If he cuts out the tree, then he'll he'll go for the roll rake. The other tree, when you roll on stage, then he's gonna get him behind. So. Yeah. So I, I think this entire set so far has been Renai. Edge guarding Salem. Salem trying to make it back to stage. <laughs> on stage, it's not that bad. You know, Salem, uh, Salem's been playing very well on stage. Yeah. It's been, it has been pretty good. But once he gets off stage, he takes so much damage just trying to make it back. Yeah, I want to turn around. Usually you see that from Bayo, but those just weren't doing it this time. It's very odd to see. Impressive, but odd. Dash at the wrong rig. Yeah, so he does get that invincibility uh, from the witch time. Even if he doesn't get the slowdown, he gets a little bit of invincibility, but he does, you know, shorten the witch time timer. So when he really needs it, he might not have enough time uh, to get a, a true punish on Renai from uh, a good witch time. Oh, will catch there. Balloon hunts about a little bit, but yeah, I haven't get too much from it. Balloon X Maki not going to save him from a Bayonetta combo. <laughs> oh, look for the Roby. Jab one, two, and back. And Salem hasn't really found an answer for those forwarders and back years yet. Had that found a reason to make him really stop. Try to stay on him to get some damage to him, but yeah, kind of unfortunate. Bandana, one of those taller characters, so the short hop, uh, short hop bears and bears will catch her. Oh, good wait there, kind of on stage. This is what I'm talking about. On stage is not that bad. In fact, uh, I think Selen's playing very, very well on stage, but he takes so much damage just trying to recover. Uh, if you can keep center stage and make sure, oops, yeah, if you can keep center stage and make sure that. Um, he doesn't get knocked off too far. I know. I, I guess it sounds obvious, but yeah. And even then, when he tried to go off stage, Renai had the Lloyd Rocket. Oh my goodness! He just filled the breeze on those like ten. <laughs> but every time he does try to even try to go off stage, he has the Lloyd Rocket ready to have his landing covered. So Renai's like, "You only go off stage, and I let you off stage." Yeah, always too high to get that that follow up up air. Wow. Yeah. Now we see Renai looking for those back airs instead of forward airs. That will be the kill attack. Oh, scares though. I was at the AOE effect there in the uh, back here. Oh, that. smash? Yeah, it starts to jump out of that. <laughs> oh, oh, what a, a grab, grab oh, what? again! Oh, we are Bowser out here. I can't believe that was really, really far. I'm just, uh, we're seeing it work so often. Oh, oh my goodness, the damage! <laughs> Already at 42%. I, I haven't seen one of those in a while, man. So they, many villager guys are working right now, I don't understand. And I feel like once Renai starts going, it's just it's just like a snowball effect yeah. of damage, and all of a sudden we see Salem here in his, in his you know his last dog at sixty percent. Listen to me. We, we're about to, okay, good, good. I was like, we can't have a triple two stock, not like this. <laughs> I was I was afraid for a second, but get that first stock off. Okay, high recovery. There's a couple of turnips though. Oh my goodness, what a risky wow. miss ending right there! I, you know, uh, what, do you, what do you even do in that situation? He had to let go of shield or else that axe was going to break his shield. He already took the shield damage from the tree. He was in, uh, just, there's nothing, there's nothing much he could have done. I just question why I stay in that position. You see the, you see the sprout there? Just roll away. No, 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 get no, out, get, get out. out. <laughs> get out of the way. Uh, but, the, you know, the, after, after that tree grew, there's nothing he could have done. There yeah. was so much shield. Uh, yeah, once the tree grew, it was over. He had to get up before the, the sprout grew. At that point, it was, it was already doomed. Is that you were already hey, dead. We were talking about how Renai has problems with the DLC characters, but it looked like he had no problems at all in that 3-0 over Salem. We thought. Salem tried, man. He played really well on stage, but that offstage edge guarding in game from Renai was so clean. And it was saying that just sounds weird. Like, offstage, Salem got destroyed by a villager. Just, yeah, it, it, every word is like, wait, what? Bayonetta has... She, she definitely has the tools. Uh, I, I feel like she has easily, you know, one of the best recoveries in the game, or I guess sequence of recoveries, but uh, those fairs and bears, man. And even the bowling ball, every time Renai would just call out every angle he would try to recover at, and cover so many angles with, you know, 
<laughs> he got he tried to side me back the stage three times in a row, got fair three times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, he had five fairs across the stage, back to back to back to back to back. <laughs> It's like, man, it's rough stuff, rough stuff. Great, great play by Renai. Clean 3-0. Right, and now we have another Shark and Loser bracket, Salem. Hey, man. All right, let's, let's take a look at this bracket once again. I think that means, yeah, we're going to see uh, uh, Renai versus MK Leo now. later on in the winner's bracket. Yeah. Salem will go Oh, is it finally time? I hope we get to do this one. Cashmere versus Esam. That <gasps> should be our next match. The human highlight reel? Is it the, time? The human highlight reel uh, versus uh, what's Esam's moniker? Um, Mr. Bad Opinions. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Enough. Clean. I don't know. <laughs> no, Mr. Clean. Nah, he, nah, he can't dance like that. You saw the commercial? Yeah, he, he, he can't dance like that. So he, he can't be Mr. Clean anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> Before that commercial.